Hey everybody, this is Kevin at Ken Sewing Center. Today I want to talk to you about the Juki NX7. Now this machine is a one-of-a-kind machine, loaded out with stitches, has some nice features that you generally can't find with some of the other brands on the market. Take a look at this video and see for yourself if this is the right machine for you. Ken Sewing Center has been a Juki dealer for over 20 years now. What we have found, this particular company, they manufacture their own machines in their own factories with their own employees. You will not find a better quality machine on the market. The craftsmanship, the detail and quality of these machines from the screen to how the internal components of the machine are made to how pretty the machine is, just how they think everything through on their particular machines. But the NX7 is a machine that's come out because of customers' requests, things they've been wanting on a machine, Juki Listen, and they come out with the NX7. Now, the number one feature we're finding with quilters is they want a larger throw space. Now, this machine will give you 12 inches from the needle to the inside of the sewing arm. It has plenty of stitches on it, but the stitches that are on it are very useful stitches. There's not a lot of just decorative stitches or stitches like what we call just fluff stitches to be putting them there. They all have a special purpose. For quilters, there's a lot more applique stitches that are built in. And the way the machine is made with the precision, we can adjust the width and the length on all of our sewing patterns. On screen, I can see how wide my stitch is, how it's gonna look on my garment, before I sew it out. Once we get the stitch set, the way it looks good to us, then we're able to go ahead and start sewing. Now the machine does have a lot of computer controls built onto it. Very nice convenient features that are built on to the machine. One, I have a pivot feature. I can raise and lower my presser foot just by the touch of a button. This is so handy when I'm getting to the end of a seam and I want to raise the presser foot up. Now we'll have a built-in knee lift. We can put the knee lift in and raise and lower the presser foot with our knee. There's also a lever on the back side like a traditional sewing machine. I can raise and lower my presser foot. But if I want to even go higher, I do have the ability to have extra high lift under my presser foot, which is critical if I'm sewing through heavier materials like quilts, if I'm hemming denim blue jeans and things of that nature, that will come in handy. The machine does have a built-in needle up, needle down feature. There's times I want my needle to be in the fabric, so all I have to do is hit the button, it's gonna stop needle in the fabric when I let off my foot control. Or, if I wanna use my start stop button, I don't have to use the foot control. The foot control that comes with this machine is nice. I tell you, I wish every company would make a foot control like it and include it with their machine. Traditional foot control, you hit it, it speeds the machine up, slows it down. This machine has a built-in scissor on it. So all I have to do is hit the next button on my foot control and it will snip the thread for me. I don't have to get my hands off the fabric. That's all I have to do. So you have the push button or you can use the foot control. I do have the speed slider here that will override the speed of the machine for me. So if I'm sewing on a thousand dollar piece of silk, I may want to back that down. If I want to go as fast as I possibly can, whether I'm doing free motion or if I'm just, you know, once you get the machine and get used to the speed of it, you may wish it went even faster than what it does, but we generally are able to regulate that. So depending on the user, I don't have to worry about anything like sewing too fast and sewing over something. Machine does have the auto lock feature. Now auto lock will tie the stitch off for me underneath my garment so I don't have to worry about that ugly back tack on top like a traditional reverse will have. Though it does have the reverse built in if you want to use that. You'll probably never use that again because I have the auto lock that's built in on it. This machine is super easy to thread. Like all Juki machines, everything is going to be channeled all the way down to my needle and that makes it easy no matter if you've never owned a sewing machine before or if you're an experienced sewer and you just don't want the hassle of the threading they've taken all the hassle out for you now once i get down to my needle i do have a built-in needle threader on the machine it's going to thread that needle for me every time if i don't want to do it manually i will have built in the seven point feed dog system now seven point feed dog system is critical for lighter weight material because I actually on my feed dogs they are a little bit longer I have seven places that the feed dog is coming into contact with the fabric so for lighter weight material that's going to be a big plus if I'm quilting or working with heavier materials that again that's a big plus as well because the more feed dogs I have touching my fabric the better off it's going to be 
the needle plates on this machine, there's no screws to take out the needles. There's a magnet holding my needle plate down. It's not going anywhere. And when I get ready to change that, all I have to do is just pop it up right here. It will come with the straight stitch needle plate so I can engage that for my quilting, my piecing, my free motion work. You have the long, extra long free arm here built in for sewing pant legs, shirt sleeves, things of that nature, your regular hemming. From my needle to the inside, the sewing arm is 12 inches. And I have all the LED lighting here and I have LED lighting around my needle so I'm gonna be able to see what I'm doing. And that's the beauty part about this machine. You know, we the things we love to do, we wanna be able to see, we wanna be able to do it longer and the LED lighting will help me match the fabrics to what I'm doing to my threads puts less strain on my eyes. So I'm gonna be able to sew and do what I wanna do longer. On the computer control here on my touch screen, everything is laid out real easy for me. Everything is laid out really nice for me on the color touch panel. I can change tension. I can change the pressure of foot pressure. I can change the pivot function, drop feed, the trimmer, you name it. And then of course, pull up my stitches and adjust the length and the width on all those sewing patterns. I'm able to do that real easy. This machine will have the digital tension system. And that's critical to getting a good quality stitch because I can adjust that tension for multiple weights of thread to get my tension set correctly. And when I get ready to sew through from heavy material to stretch material to lightweight material, I don't have to worry about is my tension gonna be correct? Cause it's gonna be correct. It does come with a special buttonhole sensor system that I can place the button where I want to and it's gonna size that every time to that size button from baby buttons all the way up to coat buttons. This machine will sew up to about 1,050 stitches per minute. We do have maximum stitch width at seven millimeters and my maximum stitch length will go to five millimeters. Juki has really thought out this machine as far as the amount of accessories. Now, it will come with a box that has all your presser feet in it. We have all those listed on the website. There are literally dozens of presser feet available for it, but it will come with a huge kit of presser feet all in the box for you so you can keep those things handy. It's got the knee lift, it's got the specialized Foot control has an extension table. There's a dust cover, canvas style dust cover made for this machine that will be included as well. Having the pivot feature, the raising the presser foot up for me, that is really nice to have on a machine. Now all I have to do is just push a button. I don't even have to hit the foot control if I don't want to. You'll notice just how smooth this machine sews. I've got it full speed right now. I get to the end of my stitch wherever I'm wanting I can hit the auto lock and it's going to tie that stitch off for me. I hit my scissor, snip the thread, and then I raise the presser foot up. And it snipped the bobbin and the top thread for me. This machine also, because of the larger motor that's built in, it can handle sewing heavier material. Here I'm sewing through eight layers of denim. That pretty much represents the side seam on a pair of blue jeans. So I raise that presser foot up, that extra high presser foot. I'm able to get that garment underneath to where I need to. And then there I go. I can easily come over here and change the stitch to whatever I'm wanting to sew. It can handle sewing any stitch on this machine through this amount of material with no problem whatsoever. And I'm going to back the machine down kind of about half speed. I can do that and crawl down from the eight layers of denim down to the lighter weight material. The machine would automatically crawl down, adjust the tensions for me. I don't have to worry about the machine jamming up on me. And then I hit my scissor, raise the pressure foot, and I'm done. There's many more features on this machine. Feel free to give Ken's staff a call. I have experienced salespeople and educators and repairmen at my store to help you with anything that you may have need of on this machine. We can compare this machine to other models that are in the Juki line because there's three or four models that gives you the larger throat space and they all have their function and purpose. But the main thing is we want to get the machine that's right for you.